<laughs> Jesse Blaze Snyder. Uh, of course, uh, whatever title. And thanks for perking up. You were like, yeah. oh, hello, Justin. That's just a show. It's a show. But then show. the camera's on. You're like, hey, how's it going? I'm Justin. Now you see how it works. I like it. Very you good. You have to rest in your quiet moments. No, very good. Yeah. I, like, I have a hard time resting. Right. When the camera's not on you guys, his hair actually goes down. It flattens out. Yeah. It, it does. That's why up. nobody recognizes me yeah. around the con. Yeah, it's very strange. So, but look at my picture. I have rings under my eyes. What's going on here? Okay. That's not a makeup mirror. That's a monitor. Well, it monitor works. That's fine. Just making sure it's the Hulk. Evil Ernie. Yeah. It's happened. It has happened. We've been talking about it for a number of years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, you know, I was like tweeting about it, and I was just like, you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Two years of my life. Yeah. And, and now it's out. A you have some evil in you. Freaking process. You but more. you know what? My artist has gone, has, he has had the worst year of his life, Jason Craig. He's been busting his ass on this book. And I mean, it's been really tough with deadlines and, and everything. And, and actually, my, my, my editorial, uh, editorial and, and Jason were a little bit not on the same page because they weren't understanding. There wasn't a lot of good communication. And Jason has been really struggling and been really tough and literally legitimate hospitalized family members and oh, people dying man. and divorce and losing his house. And through it all, he's drawing Ernie. And he's doing some of the best stuff he's done in his career. But I've been experiencing it with him. Yeah, you know, oh, so geez. it's like every other week, it's like, hey, what happened now? I'm <laughs> afraid to ask. Uh, you know, so I, I, it's even like a worse ride to get here. But the fact that it's been out for the first time in, in like a couple months, Months, I've seen Jason be really like, hey man, you read the review on such and such? They really got it. It's kind of worth all the people I know dying. And oh, he's like, <laughs> wow. I'm like, he didn't say that, but yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I how I'm it. hearing it. I'm, like, I'm like, hey, at least we can make up for your grandmother and your aunt <laughs> with some good reviews. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, two years, many deaths and families and all sorts of stuff. And we're right, here. There's a lot of blood on these pages. It feels wonderful. Well, I would like to say that what's funny is your prior stuff before this, you did some stuff for uh, you know Toy Story, Muppets, uh, uh, Boom, Hulk. Very light yeah, and yeah. Friendly. And then all of a sudden you were like, "Hey, here's Evil in Ernie Number One. Why don't you check it out?" And I read it and I was like, "Oh my dear lord!" <laughs> well, it's funny. I saw somebody's like, "In the first three pages, a child's head explodes and a pregnant woman flies through a windshield." Yeah. That was, I was like, "Yes, but it's story driven." <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Excuse. Not gratuitous and yeah. it's story driven. Right. Okay, but why does that occur? You yeah. know, I mean, come on, Ernie Don't is focus. in the pregnant lady's belly. You know, yeah. that's yeah. character right there, man. He survived <laughs> a freaking car accident as an infant in the womb. No, I love that's that you're, you're sort of on trial uh, here. You're just like, that's Ernie yeah. Yeah. in there. I so can't resist that. I... Like, she didn't even tweet at me. I like put an evil Ernie hashtag and I saw it and I was just like, well, let me just defend her. Okay. <laughs> like, but everybody's always like, Don't do that. I'm like, but why not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, I'm like, I'm not man, I'm just fucking saying, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, for people that don't know the book, uh, tell us about it outside of the pregnancy. Uh, yeah, outside of all that the, stuff. Uh, um, well, you know, e Evil Ernie was a huge book in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I don't think, a lot of people don't remember who are newer in comics, like how big Ernie was in, in, right. back in the day. I mean, as, in, as indie books went, I mean, like Ernie and Chaos, they were just like the yep. biggest. And they had such a loyal following. Right. And I actually, like, at the early infancy of my trying to get into comics professionally, I was like 16 going to Chicago Comic Con, and, and Brian and his wife wife, uh, Brian Polito, who created Ernie with yep. Steve Hughes and so many of the, the other Chaos characters, they were always so nice to me. And they had such a great group. The whole Chaos group, they were just good people, sweet people. At a time when I was trying to get into the industry, and a lot of people want to just like keep everybody at arm's length, yeah. and Chaos was just like, oh man, come to, come to our party. We're auctioning this off. We're doing this for this person. Blah, 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 blah. Come hang out with us. So they really embraced me with open arms, and I've just always had such a great... Uh, feeling towards Chaos Comics. And, uh, you know, it sucks that Brian doesn't own the character anymore and that it's out of his hands. And I actually had to call him up and I was like, listen, I pitched for Ernie because I, you know, I want somebody to do it. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, and I said, I know you have nothing to do with it anymore and I'm really sorry. And he was like, look, man, I like you. Don't worry about it, but I don't want anything to do with the book. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like, cause it's it's hard for him. You know, yeah, the, the characters good. were taken from him. He's only got Lady Death. I mean, Ernie was originally kind of based on how Brian Polito looks. So I mean, uh, I'm writing a character who is Brian Polito, and he's a new say. <laughs> so I mean, you know, we're trying to take it a little away from the Brian Polito look, so he doesn't nice. have to stare at himself every issue. But nice, um, nice. but you know, be weird. They went bankrupt, and Brian lost all of his characters. Lady Death has come back in various incarnations. And Lady Death was a huge part of Evil Ernie. Yep. Um, and without Lady Death in the new Chaos universe of, of Dynamite, we had to really rethink things and, and, and change things up and, and give Ernie his own origin that had nothing to do with any insular characters. Yeah. Um, but it, it's great. You know, the, the new book... Um, yeah, it, 
Smiley was always such a great character, but story-wise, plot-wise, he didn't really have a good reason for being there. He right. was Smiley's, uh, he was Ernie's pet rat that died and came back as a button. I don't understand how That's that occurred. That's a weird choice. It was kind of once it happened, people were like, well, I like him, so screw it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, like, so I was like, well, I like him, so let's give him a good origin. Yeah. And, and you don't, we only start to kind of reveal, and you won't know until the end of the first arc, what Smiley really is. is but he has a way... Up, is a button up or down on the, like, karmic scale from a rat? It, it's, a it's, it's up. Yeah, it's up. It's up. It's up significantly. You and I mean, by there. the end of the book, you're going you're gonna to be like, oh, F. Like, I mean, yeah. it, I hope people's reaction on, on the last page of issue six, when oh, you man. find out what's really going on with Smiley, you know, who, the guy who's supposed to be Ernie's best friend, you, it's really going to change the dynamic and the whole experience of the Evil Ernie comic, which used to just be gratuitous is fun, and and it's still it's kind of ironic gratuitous fun. I, I'm just uh, we're very aware of the gratuity. You know, right. it's evil Ernie. Let's not you know forget. But at it's the same time, character. it's very legitimate. Yeah. You know, and everything is really treated with with weight. Um, you know, especially Smiley, which was really important to me because I like that character and I want him to work as more than just a joke. I want him to work as a fully fleshed out character that makes sense. And the things that Smiley can do in this book, I can't wait until we get to like issue three and four and people see like Smiley jumping off the lapel and like things. He's I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what he's going to do, but he's going to do really cool. <laughs> I'm excited about it. It's my favorite part. I was like, all right, and then he's on the guy's face. And then he's like, oh, it's amazing. Uh, it's killed by a book. I'm excited about it. The book came out on Wednesday. I'm yeah. like, and I've gotten really, really good reviews. Yeah. So I'm feeling awesome right now. Right yeah, I can tell. It two shows. years, two Let years, man. I haven't had anything come out. Everything has taken so long to yeah. occur, and this book is finally out, and it is such a labor of love. Well, and and people have noticed things that we did, little nods and little Easter eggs in the book, and uh, I'm really happy. I feel good. I'm ready to relax. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I would like to say I've read it. I really liked it. Uh, I'm not. Uh, a huge fan of like uh, I wrote it for you, Pete. Like oh, I always do. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what? I was really <laughs> impressive with the amount of stuff that happened and when you try to describe it to me to somebody it sounds really awful but the way you pulled it off was really well done thank you i appreciate I mean, it like i said it's really not gratuitous it, it's not like in your face it's no it's but it's legit part, right you know? yeah, but, it's okay. yeah. but if you say to somebody like oh yeah i'm reading this comic and a prey leaf flies out of a car and yeah. like, you're like they're like what the yeah. You're talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, but I got that in idea the comic years ago. I said, I said, what a horrible moment. I said it would be for somebody pregnant, and then you get hit, in the, hit like get in a car accident. Because I, I've got two kids, and and I've always thought it when I was racing to the hospital, and I went, oh my god, you know, so somebody somewhere has gotten into a freaking car accident. <laughs> like while there, here's my wife, and she's pregnant, and I got a child coming to the world, and they get into a car accident and die. And then what if the kid survives? Like, and I was like, that's a great origin for for, so, for somebody. <laughs> wow. and, and you know and. And when I was originally doing Dead Romeo, that was originally supposed to be Whisper's origin, which oh, was really? the, the female character in the book. I wanted the book to open up like that. But uh, I ended up having to do loads of rewrites on Dead Romeo, and it ended up being a book that I'm not as proud of as I would like to be because That's it's not, book, it's not quite, it's not, well, yeah. it's just not quite what I originally intended. You know, and, and I, I think I rolled with the punches, you know, when editorial says this, this, and this, you gotta do yeah. what you gotta do. Uh, and at the time, they were promising me some Lobo for the things that I wanted to do. They were like, hey, do this with Lobo. Do this with Dead Romeo, and I was like, well, if I can play with Lobo, I'll do whatever yeah. the hell you want. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ballerinas, Dead Romeo, awesome. Yeah. You know, uh, so huh. this this is really, they, they've been really hands off. I, I think Dynamite wasn't exactly sure what to do with Chaos, and um, and they and got said, they got that I got the the core concepts of the right. character, the romanticism of Ernie. You know, I mean, people don't you know you think of Ernie, they don't think of romantic, but really the people who got hooked into Evil Ernie realized that Evil Ernie was Brian Polito, and Lady Death was Brian Polito's wife, and he loved her, and he was going to kill everybody in the world just for her. And I mean, that's ultimately what the book's about. And you know, you say kill, and then all of a sudden it takes out the romantic. But yeah. it still is a really romantic notion. And and that was where I drew from. You know, just the idea. I would do anything for you. You want to yeah. kill the world? I'll kill the world. Yeah. You know, like. But he's not saying it. He's fucking doing it. You know, yeah. like, you know, he's like, I'm gonna kill everyone because I love your tits. I mean, you. I love you. It was mostly ladies. Press, you're I really think, oh, you think yeah. that's what it was? Well, it's funny because I've got. I don't even remember. There's did she no have cheesecake in, ca in my in my Evil Ernie book. There's no, no cheesecake, and I and and the, I'm going to be kind of orchestrating 
the rest of the Chaos Universe, I'm bringing in some really cool writer friends of mine um, who are going to be working, who, who have some really great takes on chastity and purgatory, and uh, and I'm going to be kind of like overseeing the line. Um, and uh, they, they wanted me to write it, but I, I just I can't. I, I, I'm spread a little thin right now with music and everything else. So I'm going to keep on Ernie, and then we're yeah. going to bring in a few friends of mine, and we're going to be working really close together out in L.A. and getting like all the books in line, standing on their own, like you know, individual origins, which a lot of the old cast characters didn't have. They were so intertwined yeah. that you yeah. basically couldn't have one without the other. And this time around, I said, you know, everybody needs to be able to stand on their own two feet. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? You know, they can't be insular characters that go on to have like the thing. They got to yeah. have their own story. It can't just be chaos. Yeah, it can't be. Chaos. Well, I mean, it's organized chaos. They, the whole the pr- yeah it was good it was good it was a good part <laughs> the the whole for, for me my concept is chaos you know the, the the concept of evil Ernie is that the good die young because that's the way God likes it God wants people to die, good people to die young because then they go to heaven and then they're part of heaven's armies and they keep hell you know at bay and the idea of Ernie going around killing bad people to empower hell's armies so that ultimately hell can overpower heaven means that by killing bad people he's actually doing really bad. He's helping us. Oh, you killed that guy who was about to kill me. Yes, but we're this much closer to Armageddon. It's the larger So that's chaos. It, it's, it, you know, to me, that's chaos. You know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Yeah. You know, the, it's just, it, it doesn't matter. At that point, then, who cares? Your morality's out the window, and then you've got chaos. So that's the whole concept of, of the evil learning universe and the chaos universe now, is that basically, you know, we've got this bullcrap thing where heaven's basically screwing us over, and hell's going, ah, we'll help you, but then Armageddon. <laughs> you know, so... I don't know. It's chaos. If we me. weren't talking about comic books, I'd be like, oh man, you're starting a religion, right? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, I, I. So the devil is in. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I'm not that religious. I'm a, I have my own moral code. <laughs> And I, I, but I'm not an organized right. religious thing. I just, I have too many friends who have too many religions. And what I'm going to say, you're wrong. Yeah, no. We because are. this person said no. Every, you know, every, everybody's right. Everybody's, everybody's wrong. Right. Everybody's. I, I don't know. Yeah. You're, you're right. How long is the? How long are you going to do evil learning? Like, what's the? Do you have a? Forever. Do you have like a? Is it starting? I, six I have issues? A, I have a very long term plan that I don't think I'll ever get to. Okay. Uh, I mean, my my pitch had like. Here's the opening, and then this is where we're going. You know, um, I don't think I'm ever going to get where I'm going. Uh, I ho- I kind of hope I do, but we'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. I mean, at least I, I, I'm planning a couple of years. You know, you know, on Ernie, at least for the foreseeable future. Right. Um, you know, I've got plans at least that far. And now that I'm, like I said, bringing in some friends to work on some of the other characters and kind of building a universe, it's a, it's a passion project for me. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying the process. And and when I saw Valiant recently, you know, did their kind of small launch. Yeah, and yeah. Created this great little universe, and and uh, you know. Dynamite was like, hey, and what about Purgatory? And, what about, and I was like, I, I can't write all these books. I was like, yeah. well, maybe I can get some people, you know, yeah, who well. get it, and we'll just start doing yeah. it the same way, you know, putting them out, you know, at, at a pace, and they all stand on their own, but we can do some things down the line yeah. and work towards some crossovers and some fun stuff that Chaos fans would love. So I'm really excited. It, it, it's a fun project, and the fact that people are reacting to it, I mean, Chaos fans are reacting to it really good, yeah. which was like, the, they That's were the who I was most concerned about. I didn't want any Chaos fans to read the book and then go, oh, this is a lady death, and where is everyone? You know, I yeah. wanted them to be happy. They're happy. The fact that I've got, like, mainstream people who had no interest in Chaos before, right. like, into the book, I'm, I'm thrilled. So, like, so, I mean, like, fans are happy, and, you know, Tim Seeley read the book, and J.K. read this, the scripts for the, for the book for me, because I knew they were huge Ernie fans. And uh, when they finished, uh, uh, Tim did the only cover that actually illustrates what goes on inside the book, and uh, yeah. and J.K. wanted to draw the book, but uh, we we already had Jason in place. So I mean, once I had those two endorsements, I felt like good. Yeah. But now it's like every every day I, I do a little search. I go evil Ernie review. I do, I yeah, <laughs> and uh, we haven't had one negative review. Awesome. We've had we've had a couple that were like. Eh. You know, like, but, but I'll take, I'll take, mm-hmm. you know, uh, from comic book reviewers. I'm curious. Fans. Yeah, I'm curious what happens next issue. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> what have you? Good, be curious. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. Well, I'm thrilled. You. Read Evil Ernie, please. Give it a chance. I know it's Evil Ernie. It's awesome. It's <laughs> think picture Lobo with Deadpool zombie head on his lapel. That's basically what that's, I'm writing. Yeah, but with like, you know, pathos and oh, pathos. You know, you know, good. Yeah. You know, seriously, taken seriously. Yeah, very serious. You know, very dead, Lobo, Deadpool, serious. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with the rest of your con.